at 38 feet long, roughly 9,600 pounds dry. This is the most popular couple's fifth wheel made by the Forest River Arctic Wolf folks. And let me tell you, it is sweet. Check out the 3550 sweet. Hey, what's up? It's Chris Young. Just enjoying the sweet, the sweet, sweet, that is. The 3550 sweet, this Forest River Arctic Wolf fifth wheel, which is a great spacious couples coach. Now I say couples coach, but as you can see, I'm sitting here on the, the rear wall, which is dominated by this trifold sleeper sofa, which could easily fit two people and sleep two people. So you can sleep four in this one comfortably. But this is for that active couple that wants to get out, wants the space, wants to entertain, but knows that the grandkids might come, knows that the family members might come, or they have two kids and they just want this much space. Setting up a vacation home, this, that, and the other thing. Because take a look at how Forest River built this. We have frosted glass and the shaker style cabinets right here with the matte black fixtures all the way around, my dual mushroom lights right there, solid wood balances, LED sconces, and the zebra shades. I like these because I can adjust the level of light that I want to come in. It's not just one blackout shade coming down. I got the rustic style appearance here on my nightstands, which is on both sides. You got dual USB charging and 110 on both, plus the residential LED sconces there. And if you do have the kids, they're gonna love the entertainment center. Mainly because you can put a TV there, which kids absolutely love, but with the paw mount, you can move the TV from the bedroom, from the outside. You don't have to buy three different TVs. You just got one, boom, boom, slide it in. There you go. Need more storage? You got it right here. Once again, that frosted glass inlay. And where's my light switch? Does this one have the blue LED light in it somewhere? I'm sure it does. It's bound to, because they put the, yep, it sure does. The light strips up here. They get the uh, blue LED light. I just don't have it cut on right now. Forest River loves that blue LED accent light. You'll see it on the back of the uh, slides right here and you'll see it on both sides. You'll see it outside, underneath, the whole nine. They do that because it adds ambiance. You'll see it on the speakers. You got the roof mounted speakers and the subwoofer over there. So the sound that comes from your driven command center right here is outstanding. Dual zone, HDMI, Bluetooth, and USB. You can also control it from your cell phone because it's NFC. The kids are gonna love the music. They're gonna love the fact that you got a TV there and you got a fireplace with multiple flame settings multiple light settings, and roughly 4,000 BTUs of heat coming off of there, which does a good job of knocking off the chill. More storage space there. Add that to the 15K BTU air conditioner, which is ducted. The quick cool is up there. The ceiling fan and the 35,000 BTU furnace that's inside of this with the two inch foam core insulation all the way around, the fiberglass backing, the slip resistant, easy to clean linoleum that's reinforced. You're gonna do a good job extending that three season camping. Now, the only thing I didn't like about this one, when you sit down right here on this seat, I did it twice, I nailed the daylights out of my funny bone sitting down. Now, will you do it? Probably not, but it is something to be mindful of that there is a countertop right here beside the, the uh, recliners. But the recliners do have the heat, the massage, and the accent light on them as well. Plus you got these large panoramic windows, I got opposing slides. I can easily see the entertainment center, easily communicate with my loved ones. And because we do have the opposing slides, we got ourselves an island kitchen. Pressed surface countertop with the molded edges. I got the undermounted stainless steel sink with that graphite black, the farmhouse with the apron. And look at my sprayer nozzle right here, giving me full access. Even got the little hand sanitizer. I like it. Cutting board, like my buddy Ian always says, try to cut on the back. You don't want to mess up the front. But look at the prep space that we have here. Look at the beautiful design on the front with the blue LED light strip there. Just looks good. And Forest River, you know, they have this sustainable manufacturing process where they reduce and they reuse, they shrink that carbon footprint, allows them to pass along some additional savings. But in doing that, they've built coaches that are right there in that sweet spot. A little bit better than mid-level, but not mid-level pricing. You get the dark on the light with the just aesthetically pleasing everything around, looks good, feels good, and has function and form. And that's really all you can want when you're talking about RV. Solid wood construction, full extension on the ball bearing drive. Got more prep space over here. Got the flush mounted three burner cooktop with the glass cover and the grill style grate right here. 
Got my little push button light, my 16 inch Greystone oven. Got me a little drawer right there for my pots, my pans, more storage. I mean, you just got, look, you got space. Don't worry about it. If you fill all this stuff up, you need to purge. A light, a microwave, and because they always think of those little things that might help make the camping experience a little bit easier, but also making something functional. How about a backsplash that doubles as a cutting board that has little magnets on it? Love that because, I mean, I wouldn't have thought of making that, but I'm not that smart. Canon 12 volt fridge freezer combo right here to over 10 cubic feet. Look at the space that you have there for those long weekend getaways. Got the little slide out down here. You know what I would do with that? I'd put a couple of bowls in there and make that the doggy drawer. And right, you know, you bring the furry friends along, might as well. Good coffee station right here, dual USB power, more storage. Got the large cabinets right here. Good space. And the frosted glass entry, the frosted glass inlay here for my pantry with the light. I like the shelf system in there. Just good space, good storage all the way around. And when it comes time to reconnect with those loved ones, you sit down here at this rustic table. I like the beveled edge right here. It makes it look rugged, but also makes it look beautiful. I got large windows surrounding LED residential sconce right there and a freestanding dinette. This is where when you sit down and you have the camp cook meal, you play the card games, you play the board games, you realize that you didn't just buy an RV, you made an investment in your recreation, in your enjoyment. I mean, that's, that's really what it's all about. So walk up the stairs. I got my hangers right here. I like this system that they have right here too, because it's, uh, you know, kind of like the home control, the one control. Uh, you can control everything from your cell phone, turn on the lights, the ACs, the whole nine, you got your control panel here. Your one spot, one control hotspot, because all the RVs these days come pre-wired for 4G LTE extension. Walk into the bathroom. We got a nice barn door. High-rise porcelain bowl with the foot flush. Large single basin sink over here across from me with the graphite fixtures. More space underneath. Plus, I got my little medicine cabinet over here. Let's see if we can get in there, Bobby. Look at that. That's a, that's a big one, too. It's nice and wide. And I'm assuming, I have, yeah, I got some storage space behind me. Okay, that's kind of cool. It's got a mirror on it. Haven't seen that before. It's a little, ooh, Bobby, you didn't tell me how I looked today. You got the Max fan here too. These blades right here really do a good job of moving the air out of the RV. It'll move about a foot of air per second. So if this RV is really hot, that's what you cut on. Get the 36 inch. Shower right here, single surround. I got my shower handle. I got the large skylight right there with the inlay, the corner notches for my soaps, my soaps, my showers, the whole nine. Slip resistant, easy to clean linoleum flooring right here. And walk to the socket, the, the solid wood door into my suite. This is where the 3550 suite really gets its name. Dual 15K BTU ACs. King size bed nestled in its own slide. Strut supported storage right there. That's a good space to put whatever you want. But what's sweet about it? Opposing wardrobes. Solid wood pocket door over there, plus washer dryer prep. And then I got a little storage space over here. Ward space. And even storage underneath right there not to be outdone because they know you're probably going to need more they gave you a little chest of drawers right here with more space <laughs> that's a good spot for you bobby palm mount for the tv cable connection and power just all around good space a comfortable spacious couples coach with a lot of room so we've seen it inside of the 3550 suite by forest river arctic wolf and look i can make it almost all the way up to the ink cap without crouching down but what do you say we go take a look at the outside? So here we are on the outside, the 2021 Forest River Arctic Wolf 3550 suite. I'm gonna start right up front right here with this molded end cap. You're gonna notice that aggressive profile, the aerodynamic styling of it to help with the wind resistance while going down the road. Got my LED light strips for running. I got my Rhino box pin right here, which really helps with that turning radius. You'll know how it kind of comes to a point. That's gonna help when you're going down the road and especially parking this bad boy. 
spare tire mounted right there in the storage box where we have our batteries and auto level. Yep, I love it when we have auto level because I'm lazy and I like to just go up and hit a button so I can set up and get to camping. You'll see your ground control 3.0 legs right there. Got my propane tanks right here. Well, one on each side, that is. Here's the only thing, I'd get a 30. You know, get, get the upgrade, get a 30 tank, because this is a big old fifth wheel. You want to make sure you got the LP for it. And a double door basement, finished off, heated, but two spots for you to load stuff in. And you'll notice right over here that we have the cable hookup and the power and this little porthole right here. That's so you can feed the cables through. So if you wanna set up your entertainment, you don't have the connections outside, they're not exposed. That's just a nice little feature. Add that to the fact that all the doors are slam resistant and magnetic. It's a very nice little feature. I put my bag there so you can kind of see, look at how much space and clearance is in there. Now, Forest River knows that you're probably gonna have the furry friends with you. So they added some tie downs to help keep them safe and secure at the campsite. We also have the heated and enclosed underbelly on this one. It's an armored underbelly. So you have the panels you can take off. So if you need to do some repair work, you have to take the whole thing. Got the steps, the solid steps leading into the main entry point. And I love these doors because just look how nice they look. They're tinted, they're tempered glass. Plus you got the extra large grab handle for that additional safety and security. Nitro filled tires with the pressure monitoring system there on those aluminum rims with the Dexter Easy Lube axles. Oh, am I gonna make it Bobby? No, but look, we can get under here still. You got the driven two door <laughs> fridge freezer combo on the outside. We got a little close, it's all good. Storage drawer. Another little prep area right here. You do have the LP quick connect underneath. You got a storage cabinet, a 110 LED light. And underneath, we should have the LP quick connect, which is down here on the end. There you go, Bobby. Good little space for when you just want to hang out outside and do your thing. Spray port right here, sealed safety glass all the way around. And once again, Bobby, I, I was so excited about the door. I totally forgot the awning. Got the 12 foot awning right here with the LED light strip, my driven marine grade speakers with that blue accent light on it, which is also underneath for when you set up at night, you need that additional safety and security. Four by four sewer hose storage. You got the bike rack. This is great because it comes on the camper. You don't have to get one additional. So if you need to put the coolers, the bikes, good spot for it. Backup camera right there, which is Bluetooth, the arch ceilings, the three inch rubber rain nozzles right there. My 50 amp service plug right here. The slides. And we'll get to the uh, terminations over here, Bobby. Beautiful, I love the gray, the black, the white, and the blue graphics, just looks good. You can tell too, pull up and you see that roof up there, Bobby. Look how it molds over the edge. Just additional security, easier to clean, good, strong roof up there. Sewer outlet connection, wastewater holding tank. Our terminations are right there. You got a 49 gallon fresh, 70 gallon gray, and 35 gallon black tank on this one. You got the external shower with hot and cold. And here's all of our external connections right here. City water, black tank flush, fresh tank fill, and then your cable and your satellite. The other side of my pass through storages. Like I mentioned with the propane tanks, I would just get a 30 for this. You know, just, just upgrade that because you're going to need it. Now, I've been talking about how this one's roughly 9,600 pounds dry. The gross vehicle weight on this one is 11,645 pounds. That's where you take that information back to your specialist at Camping World and at Gander, and you say, okay, what does that mean? Here's what my vehicle can tow. Here's where we're going to go. Here's how many people we need to sleep. Is this the right RV for me? Because at the end of the day, that's really what matters is what are you towing it with and where you want to go, how many people you need to sleep. Uh, let us guide you down the path of finding the RV that's right for you. But if you're an active couple, you need a bunch of space, you want some of those upgraded features and amenities, 38 feet long, roughly 9,600 pounds dry. I gotta tell you, this 3550 suite is your vacation home you can just take with you. But leave me some comments down below and let me know what'd you like about it, what'd you not like about it, because we love hearing from you. And please, while you're at it, click like, subscribe, and notify, so the next time we do a video, you're the first one to get it. I'm Chris Young for Camping World, Gander RV and Outdoors. Until next time, thank you for spending time with me today. I appreciate it. I hope I hear from you soon. And until then, please come check out an RV because they're fun. I'll see you.